Hey guys and ladies, uh, what I have in front of you here is a beautiful uh, mid-century modern piece of Danish furniture and I am actually in the process of putting strapping or webbing in here because um, we just had a, um, some upholstery done so we're going to finish these chairs up and I've already done one and I'll show you that in a second but what I'd like to do here is help anybody out there that's going through this process because I made this mistake myself and uh, hopefully you can avoid a headache here. There are two different types of clip systems, okay? What I'm showing you here is a 45 degree angle clip and right here, it looks more like an L, okay? That's, that's a 90 degree clip. And you're probably saying, well, what's the difference and how do you f figure that out? And it's pretty easy actually. The chair here has, the rail across the chair is gonna have a slot and that's where you're gonna put this clip system in. Basically, you need to take a credit card or something stiff like a business card and slip it into this slot. As you can see, this is at a 45 degree, okay? If this was standing up straight, if it locks into it and it's straight like that, that's going to be a 90 degree clip. These have a special 45 degree clip. And the 45 degree thing matters. You can't just fudge it and say, oh, I'll bend it or whatever. The 45 degree things matter because basically these are a one of a kind clip system. These are from uh, Evans Clip. I'll get you a shot of this here. Okay, these are actually made in Norway. They're made for these, you know, ceiling style Danish furniture. Uh, and these clip systems basically this is the only way you're going to be able to get strapping on like a real authentic Danish piece of furniture and I am going to show you right now how to go ahead and strap these up the first thing you do is you measure front to back left to right so they're gonna have two different measurements here the, the general rule of thumb is if you have say 20 inches 21 inches whatever it is take either a quarter inch or all the way up to a half an inch off and I like to go about a quarter inch because these stretch a little bit okay they're purposely made for that they're, they're made to stretch just a little bit to give you a little bit of uh, cushion under your bottom side <laughs> your bottom so you're gonna go ahead and put these in and it's gonna take a little bit of stretch to get them in you want them like that you don't want these to start sagging right off the bit you want these to go ahead and fit in there nice and tight so I'm actually gonna go ahead and measure this one so this is actually 19 and 5 eighths so in 1 eighth over a half an inch so I'm gonna go ahead and back this down to uh, let's see here 19 and 3 eighths so you have this lay flat, get your tape measure out, and I'm going to go ahead and do 19 and 3 eighths. One, two, three, right here. Just go ahead and make sure that this is even all the way across. Okay, there's your finished piece right there. Okay, you get your piece, you get your two clips. Doesn't matter which side, they're both the same. You're going to put the clip on just like this okay set set it in there and hand tighten down keeping the webbing all the way to the top of this little slot okay so that's hand tighten just get a pair of vice grips crank down on it what you want to do here it doesn't really matter as long as everything is it doesn't matter if it's a little bit off this way or a little bit off that way what you want to do is these have little holes where the teeth want to come up through. And basically, they're not going to come all the way through, but go ahead and clamp these down just like that without, you never want to clamp these teeth. Okay, those teeth are what are going to hold these things into the rail slots. You go ahead and just clamp all these down. Okay, and hopefully you can see there's one or two poking out here. The teeth are poking out. That's what you want to see, okay? So then you're going to put the same thing on the other end, making sure that both clips with the teeth are on the same side. Let's go ahead and do it in real time here. 
pinch it down. Make sure it's seated all the way up in there. Go ahead and set it. It really is just as simple as this. And this ended up saving me. The uh, guy wanted, well, he took, I think he wanted 150 bucks just to do this to three chairs. All it takes is a little hand strength and a little bit of time. And I'll tell you in the description where to find these clips. So there's, there's those. Hopefully you can see those little teeth poking through. Okay, on to the next step. Okay, your next step is actually setting these clips in. All you need to do, put the first clip at the back side. Okay, then slide it all the way over. And that is in, okay? You'll see there's about, oh, half an inch, maybe a little bit less. It's really basically three quarters of an inch, or uh, uh, three eighths of an inch. Let's go ahead, grab it. Here you go. Lock it in. At this point, you're going to want to kind of seat this. All the way over, okay? And that's one strap in. Two more to go, three, and we're going to, uh, we're going to actually uh, lace these together kind of like a shaker chair, and I'll show you that in a second too. There you go. There's the first three. Just remember that this is a different measurement going across. So this measurement is roughly 20 and a half. So I'm going to go ahead and do 20 and a quarter inch cuts. So when you get to this portion, you go ahead and put your first clip in and you're going to go under it over, under again, and seat that clip. Then, so that's sat in there, then the next is going to go over and under, and the next is under, so we're just going to vary it. Insert the clip seat it. This time we're going to go over. It's just the opposite. Over, under, and over. Okay, put that in. Just give it a tap to seat it. Okay, on to the next. And last one. Ours will go. Go under, over, under again. Clips in. Go ahead and seat it. Let's go ahead and move this one down just a touch. There it is, just seated. Okay, that's it. That's all she wrote. If you want to make these look better, you can. Uh, it's really just a superfluous thing. If you want to just go ahead and move these little by little to get it perfect, that's fine. But right there is a beautiful, uh, beautiful webbing, and this is what it looks like. With look at that. There you go. Let's see how she feels. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, beautiful chairs. 
Uh, hopefully this helps anybody out there that uh, is going to come across and do this on their own. If, you know, I saved 150 bucks off the, the top, but you might save even more. You know, if you're living in a city or something like that, they might charge two, three hundred dollars, who knows. So it's really that simple. Basically just a pair of scissors, a pair of, a pair of vice grips, tape measure, and just the, you know, the webbing and the clips. And I'll leave all that stuff in the description. So, hey, thumbs up if you like this. And uh, on to the next one. So take care. Peace. We'll see you in the next one.